What's up everybody, Alex here, and welcome to an episode of Dota Underlords Knockout. What we're gonna do, we're gonna go mages to start, why not? I like that combination there. Let's see what we get here for items. We're gonna go barricade if we're going mages. Okay, we got these barricades here. Legion Commander, not expected. Were they, was Legion Commander on the front? Am I crazy? Or is Legion Commander a total surprise to me? What we're gonna do, we're gonna use Storm Spirit at the back. I love Storm Spirit at the back because it is a uh, bait for Pudge. We're gonna do this here. Omni Knight. We'll take on there. I'm actually going to take Tinker, replace Tinker with the Legion Commander here. We'll put Tinker up front. Hmm, we're going to do this here. It's very rare. Okay, we'll do this. Yep, we'll do this. I like this position. It's very rare that anyone lines someone up right on that edge there. So you often find uh, weaker units like Crystal Maiden. We'll be kind of safe in that little corner there. So, kind of a wasted heal there. So they're dragons. We didn't get any two stars. They have a two star. So they have druids. So we're going to lose this for sure, I think. I'd be extremely surprised if we... Yeah, we're not winning this. We're not winning this. And that's... I, I've, again, this is the benefit of druids early, right? You get an early level advantage with the stars. Uh, he was dragons as well. So druids and dragons, that is an absolute auto selection to start. Okay, so do we have any pudges out there? Let's see. Do we got pudges? Delightful. I'm looking. I'm looking. I'm looking. I don't see any pudges, so we're safe. So we don't need. Ooh, okay, so we gotta take that tusk. Uh, I'm gonna take juggernaut as well. Oh, free maiden. Look at that maiden. So tinker as well. I'm actually gonna lock the shop. We're gonna put him in. Uh, we're gonna take. We're gonna take Lena out. Put him in, and we're gonna put. Actually, Lena stays in. We don't need to worry about the, this. We'll, ah, I kind of messed that up. I don't like that because he can just port. I was going to keep it ranging. Noob mistakes were made. I guess the little archer there blocks it, but not a fan of that positioning, guys. Not a fan at all. It's one thing about knockout. Uh, knock like, I'm a thinker. I overanalyze everything, right? And uh, we're going to win this, but... Hmm... I need to really think about the positioning here of the barricade because I want to defend those back units. Now, we're not really against any assassins. We only have one assassin group here. They are number one, so barricade's not really doing much work. We could, if we do this, the uh, Anesic spawn's going to spawn there, so we kind of control that. Uh, what are we going to do? I think the brooch is actually the best in this circumstance. Yeah, we're going to go brooch here. We're going to put the brooch. We're going to put it on uh, Tinker here. Let's see who we get. Oh yeah, that's right. We preserved that there. Um, do I reroll? Do I save? I'm gonna take Razor here, but I'm actually gonna save our money because I want to. Uh, I want to use some money for that next. Now, we we've only lost one health, so this is not bad. What can we do here? I think we're okay. We're not gonna put Legion Commander on. I think this is the correct team. Uh, I think what we should do is this though. We should have him at the farthest position. Oh. Again, I'm such a noob. Well, actually, it should. An Essex still should put the archer there. Let's see it. Yes, archer still goes there, so it's not too bad. Uh, the anti mage kind of messes things up a little bit. Yeah, I don't like the position of the barricades. I need to figure that out. I, I spent too much time again staring at my units. So this Tinker is going to do work again. Tinker absolutely destroys. Look at that. 5k damage. What did he get? So he had a 5k Queen of Pain. Queen of Pain is awesome too. I, I've said in my videos before, I really like Queen of Pain for the exact same reason why I love um, I love Tinker. The amount of straight up DPS that they can do is fantastic. So I think that's what I'm going to do. Let's test this out. Um, I'm actually going to put Tinker up there. We're going to leave it like this here. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to... I like Enthrall, but I think the uh, the Golem's the correct choice. Dragon Knight. I'm going to take Dragon Knight. We have Timber Saw here. I'm going to take the Timber Saw as well. Um, three Star Tusk. Two Star Timber Saw. I'm going to take the Doom as well, just in case. Let's actually... We're going to do the Two Star Timber Saw here. Uh, we're kind of going wide. That's okay. That's okay. I like Doom as well. We If we can get a quick Three Star... I think, I think we sell Legion Commander. I don't think we're going to get much out of it here. So... Let's see how this goes. So we're pretty, we're pretty low. We have one three-star unit here. Our timber saw is going to carry a bit. Tusk is down. We wanted Tusk to do a little bit more work, perhaps. But again, I hate barricade. I really wish I didn't go barricade because it, it I've not gotten the positioning down yet. So this is not good. This is going to be a close fight. 
Omni Knight is still up. Come on, take out a Nessix. No. We're gonna lose. Yep, not enough. If only we had taken out a Nessix there, maybe we would have had a chance, but that's okay. We're still okay. I'm not too concerned. That was the first place guy, and we came really close to him. Um, ooh, Octarine. We also have... Yeah, we go Octarine. We put Octarine on Tinker. We put this on the... Tusk. That is correct. We move Tusk closer. It should look something like this. We take Ogre Magi. I'll take Ogre Magi. Uh, we take the Lina. We have to reroll aggressively here. We take Clockwork. No, I think we take Puck in this case. And we take Clockwork. Uh, we're going to get rid of Doom. We're going to get rid of the Legion Commander. We have no use, I don't think, for... We're not going to go with, with him here. Thinking. If we didn't have as many two stars as we did, I would have gone with the dragon combination. But I think at this point, we need to stay with the units we have. The storm spirit's a little weak. I don't like the storm spirit right now. But it's not worth putting any one of these units in there. Especially since, well, you could have put Puck in. Puck would probably be better at storms than storm spirit at this point. We need to get three star tinker. I don't think anybody else is going Tinker right now, so I think 3-star Tinker is definitely doable. So we're going to win this here. Did anyone else go in Tinker? I don't see it. So we're going uncontested with Tinker, which is going to be a huge benefit. And that's what we want to do, right? We want to make sure that we're we're playing uncontested units. Um, I, I hate the barricade so much. So we got a Clockwork. So now we're kind of invested in clock. Oh, there it is, Tinker. Three-star Tinker, that's what I'm talking about. Um, we actually need to put the brooch on Tinker now. Uh, we're going to put the cooldown on the tusk. We are going to put clockwork in. We're going to move tusk like this. I think this is what we do here. Actually, we take him out. That's the correct move. Storm Spirit, I think you're done. I'm sorry. I don't see us using Storm Spirit at this point. If I can, I'll use the Dragon combo. Let's get Tinker casting. Now, we took the Octarine off Tinker because the cooldown is so fast at level 3. We just want him generating mana. Um, if I can, I'm going to look for another human. So, again, Tinker absolutely wrecking. He was at 8k damage, almost 9k. And the next closest they had 4. Sniper at 4, Hobgen at 4. So... Tinker himself accounted for more damage than their two primary dealers. And again, because no one's going Scrappies and Inventors, no one's going Tinker. These are completely uncontested, so I'm going to take them. Uh, what do we do here? Tombstone's interesting. Uh, Battle Fury. Battle Fury. Do I go Battle Fury? Yes, I think I take Battle Fury here. And the reason why is I'm going to put it on Tusk. And then uh, with this, I will... I'm going to do it... To... You know what? It's going to go Ogre Magi. Get him casting a little faster here. Let's see what we get. Keeper of the Light. I'll take. I'm interested in Keeper of the Light. We'll take a Clockwork here. Um, one more roll. Lone Druid I almost always take, but not in this case. We're not going to use the Dragons, I don't think. I don't see room for... I think we take Lean Out right now. We put him in. Dragons. I don't think we go Dragons. I'm going to keep him for now. Give me time. I don't see us going dragons as much as I would like the additional uh, human bonus here. Alright, this is not bad. So those assassins jumped on the Ogre Magi, which is a brute. Um, that's helpful. Oh, horrible cast. Absolutely horrible by uh, our, our, uh, our keeper here. That needed to be better. But again, Tinker. Keep hitting him. That's the thing about Tinker, right? You can deck him over and over again. Get a, get attack speed guys on him. He's just going to... Look at this. 16k damage on Tinker. What'd they have? 8k. So again, we're doubling. Tinker himself is doubling. Guys, Tinker is so valuable. So unbelievably valuable. My time is now. All right, so now we got Puck. But now we're in a situation where I think we actually go Kunky here. So I'm going to take both. I'm curious, so I'm going to take him to... Yeah, I think we put Kunka in here. We're going to put Kunkka in on the width. Actually, what we should... Yeah, we do this. Kunkka in there. Two-star Kunkka. Perfect. We're going to leave the Morphling. We're at nine units. We're going Lena next if we can. We're going to sell these guys off as well. All right, let's do it. We have our crew. I don't think we're going to get to another Scrappy, which is fine. It's okay as much... Maybe an Alchemist. 
If I can get a Tinker, okay, I'll grab Tinker maybe. So no one jumped on us. We got that Ogre Magi casting. Good stun there. If I can get a Refresher Orb or Bracers of Desperation, that'd be great. Come on, Tinker, keep casting. He's silenced. That was so painful. We might lose this simply because of the silence on the Tinker. That was rough. Really rough. Yeah, we lost this one. We got a bloodlusted uh, spawn there, but we're not going to be able to do enough there. So Tinker was silenced for most of that fight. That had a major impact there. What can we do here? Ooh, okay, hold on. So this is an assault Karis. We take the assault Karis. Who takes? Who gets the assault Karis? I think it's clockwork. We switch this like this. Okay, we need some luck here. Who are we going to get? Who are we going to get? Another Dragon Knight. Sven is interesting. The will not be slain. We got to reroll hard. Hey, I'm going to be a little sloppy here. Okay, hold on. Sven is interesting. Sven's interesting. Do we put Sven in? No, we don't. Sven is only good with Dragon Knight. So we're keeping Sven out. I'm going to reroll. I'm going to take Lena here. There's a Kunkka. Yeah. If I had Dragon Knight in, I would have kept Sven. But without Dragon Knight, I don't think Sven's worth it. Alright, so we have the Assault Curious here. That's going to benefit Tinker. Give him additional armor as well as Tusk. So this is good. That's proper positioning because it's really going to benefit our guys. Good cast by Keeper of the Light. That's exactly what we needed. We should have this. We should get a second cast from Keeper of the Light. Okay, not the best positioning. Now, Bristleback is doing serious work. No, I think we're going down here. All because Bristleback, another good cast by Keeper of the Light. He might be the MVP of this fight. Come on, keep going. Keep it up, keep it up. No. We got a polymorph there. Come on, come on. There we go. It looks like we're going to take this, but barely. That was a close fight. Wow. So that guy's the first place. We beat him. We got to beat him two more times. Let's see if we can do it. So what position does he have here? What's he got here? So he's all up front. Come on, get out of the way. He's got a Radiance. Okay, I got to take the Techies. Let's, let's re-roll first, then we got to see. Because we have our guys now, so we're not looking for anybody else. Techies, two-star techies, we take it. Okay, two-star techies, we'll put techies in there. He's going to be within one. We got to do... This is correct. This is the correct position. What's he got here? He's up front. Braces of Desperation on Juggernaut. Very interesting choice. I think we're fine. I think the positioning's fine. I wouldn't change too much here. Let's see how we go. Let's see how we do here. I really hope that the techies... We got some good placement on the techies bomb here. That's what we really want. Okay, that's not too bad. It looks like we're going to get a good cast from Keeper of the Light. That was a good cast. I'll take 10k damage. This is close. This is close. That's a good... Okay, that's a good bomb by Tinker. But that silence is going to be pretty devastating. I think we're done. I think we're going down, guys. We're going to get another cast here, but I don't think it's going to be enough. All right, we lost, but you know what? That was a good match. I like that. Again, it really shows the benefit of Tinker. I'll accept that. Second place, a pretty good round there. But again, guys, Tinker is simply remarkable. I keep saying it. Uh, you know, Tinker's fantastic, and, you know, we got a lot of three stars. I think that uh, if we got, we were able to get a Bracer of Desperation, uh, that would have been beneficial because it would have really helped Kanka. But overall, a good match. Thanks for watching, guys. Special thanks to my subscribers. Take care, everyone. Have yourselves a wonderful day.